everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Well, I hope you're wonderful and I know I'm doing wonderful. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jennifer and I'm the children's librarian at EVPL North Park and I am so excited to have you here today for story time and we're going to be talking about my very favorite thing, cats. I love cats so much. I have a cat. I love all things cats. And so I wanted to share some of my favorite stories, songs, and rhymes about cats today. So let's start off with a little rhyme and finger play. And we're gonna pretend that we're kitty cats and we're gonna be sneaking around the house. All right, here we go. So it's called Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat sneaks around the house. Kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up to a mouse and pounce. Kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up to a bird. Kitty cat, kitty cat, is not even heard. Kitty cat, kitty cat, and pounce. But the mouse ran away and the bird ran away. So the kitty cat found a ball of yarn and pounce. You can jump when you pounce, and you can pounce with all kinds of other things that you might find in your house. All right, so now that we've pretended that we're cats, how about we read a story about a cat? And it is called, Are You a Cat? There we go. Are you a cat? I'm not a cat. Some days I wish that I were, but I'm not. But are you a cat? Cat. Are you a cat? Why do you want to know if I'm a cat? Well, I'm a dog and dogs chase cats. Hmm, well then, I'm not a cat, so you can't chase me. Hmm, okay, well, what are you then? I don't know, that looks like a cat to me. And it says that it's not a cat, so we'll see. Um, I'm a bird. You're not a bird. Yes, I am. I still don't think that's, I don't think that looks like a bird. That looks like a bird. This doesn't look like a bird. Okay, well, if you're not a bird, or if you are a bird, prove it. Fly. Where? tree. Is he doing it? Is the cat doing it? He's not doing a very good job at flying. See, you're not a bird. You are a cat. No, I'm not a cat. I'm a squirrel. You're not a squirrel. Yes, I am. Okay, well, if you're a squirrel, open this nut. Why? Well, because that's what squirrels do. Well, I knew that. No problem. Do you think that this not a cat is going to be able to open that, that nut like a squirrel? Ouch! See, you're not a squirrel. You're a cat. No, I'm not a cat. I'm a butterfly. Is it a butterfly? No, you're not a butterfly. Yes, I am. Okay, if you're a butterfly, land on that flower right there without squashing it. Why? Well, because that's what butterflies do. Oh, I knew that. Watch this. Do you think that not a cat is gonna squish that flower? Oh, I hope he doesn't squish the flower. Oops. See, you're not a butterfly. You are a cat. I'm not a cat. I'm a rabbit. You're not a rabbit. Yes, 
I am. Well, okay, if you're not, a, if you are a rabbit, hop down that hole. Why? Because that's what rabbits do. Oh, I knew that. Okay, watch me. Do you think this not a cat is actually a rabbit and gonna hop down that hole? I hope so. I'm so tired of seeing poor cat, I mean, not a cat, failing all these things. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I knew you were not a rabbit. <sighs> Who cares? Please get me out of here. Oh no, stuck upside down in that rabbit hole. That's not good. Oh look, a mouse. Do you want to chase it? Yes, I do want to chase it. I knew it, you are a cat. Yes, I am a cat. Okay, cat, let's chase mouse together. Eek, said the mouse. Oh my goodness, so the cat's chasing the mouse and the dog is chasing the cat. Oh my goodness. Stop, you can't chase me. Oh, hmm. Well, he's a dog and I'm a cat, so surely we can chase you. That makes sense, right? No, you can't. Why not? Because I am not a mouse. I'm an elephant. Oh my goodness. No one wants to get chased. Oh my goodness, how silly. I love that. All right, so let's sing a little song. It's called I'm a Little Kitty Cat and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot and it involves a mouse. So this is perfect for this book. Even though what Cat wanted to chase was actually an elephant and I think that's so silly. All right, here we go. I'm a little kitty cat. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whis whiskers and here are my feet. When I go out hunting mice, beware, or you might just get a scare. Let's do that one more time. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. When I go out hunting mice, beware, or you might just get a scare. Oh my goodness, so fun. Now let's do another finger play. And I like to do a lot of finger plays in uh, story times because that helps build those um, muscles in the fingers and hands that little ones need for um, writing and drawing and throwing. And it helps, um, helps gain those muscles even though they might not be ready to write or anything like that. So let's, let's practice and get our finger muscles going. All right, this is called Five Little Kittens. Five little kittens, all black and white, sleeping very soundly all through the night. Meow, 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 meow. It's time to wake up now. Let's do that one more time. Five little kittens, all black and white, sleeping very soundly all through the night. Meow, 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 meow. It's time to wake up now. That's so cute, I love that. All right, let's do one more story. And this one's also a very silly story. It is called Cat Ladies. And they're all the ladies with their cat. So let's read about cat ladies. Princess had four ladies. Let's count them real quick. One, two, three, four. Some cats say that's too many, but there is no such thing. 
There's no such thing as too many ladies. Taking care of four ladies can be a lot of work, but Princess didn't mind. They were cute and cuddly and gave her all the treats she could want. And it was important to keep her ladies busy because bored ladies spelled trouble. Oh my gosh, we don't want to get any ladies in trouble. So on grooming days, Princess and Millie got glam together. Oh, Millie's getting her hair done and Princess is getting brushed. And on errand days, Princess made sure Molly bought the right treats. There they are. Grocery shopping, coming back from the store. And while bird watching, Princess and Myrtle voted on the cutest doves. Oh my goodness. I think Princess might want to eat one of those doves. I don't think Muriel would or Myrtle would like that. And during brand, band practice, Princess and Myrtle rocked a wailing duet. And as you can see, Princess had everything under control just the way she liked it. But one day, when it was time for her catnap, Princess found a mysterious stray in her spot surrounded by her ladies. But does that look like a stray cat? No, that looks like a stray little girl. Uh-oh. Even worse, it turned out the ladies had already gotten glam, run their errands, watched birds, and finished band practice. All without Princess. Oh, poor Princess. And to top it off, the ladies had accepted a present from the stray. They had never liked any of Princess's presents. Oh my goodness, it looks like the stray gave them a flower and a beautiful flower pot. So let's see what kind of presents Princess might have given. Not even the furry ones or the feathered ones. Uh-oh. It's a mouse. Would you like a mouse as a present? I don't think I would like a mouse as a present. And Princess couldn't believe it. Her ladies were out of control. They would need immediate retraining. Oh my goodness. Princess, what have you got up your sleeve? Princess tried to groom Millie's legs. She got nowhere. And then she pulled out the bird plumping food, but nothing. And when she belted out a solo, no one listened. And when she got ready for a ride, she was ignored entirely. Princess had better things to do with her nine lives anyways. For starters, finding another perfect spot for her catnap, since her favorite one had been so rudely taken. Off she goes. The search turned out to be more difficult than Princess imagined. The first place was too high. The next one was too hard. And the third one was just too cramped. Oh Finally, Princess found a perfect cozy spot. Oh, that does look cozy with those pillows. But when she tried to get there, she got caught. She wiggled and jiggled and pushed and pulled, but it was no use. Princess was stuck. And there was only one thing left to do. Meow! The ladies were worried since she had been gone for so long. Luckily for Princess, the stray had excellent hearing. Oh my gosh. I bet Princess's ladies were so worried. And it's lucky that the stray had good hearing. But on second thought, 
Princess realized the stray was sort of cute, and she might fit in well with the rest of the ladies. But first, she would need proper training. Playing together. Pets. And it turns out that young strays make fine ladies. And there they are, reading a story together. How sweet. And now Princess has five ladies. Some cats say that's too many, but there is no such thing. There's her five ladies. One, two, three, four, five ladies. All the love, princess. The end. Oh my goodness, that was so fun. I love that. And I love that Princess had five ladies to take care of her. That's so fun. All right, let's do one more finger play and work on those finger muscles. It's five little kittens. This is a little bit different than the earlier five little kittens. But five little kittens standing in a row nod their heads to the children so they run to the left and they run to the right. They stand up and stretch in the bright sunlight. Along came a dog who is ready for fun. Meow! Run, run, run! All right, let's do that one more time. And we're going to add a few different actions in it as well. Five little kittens standing in a row nod their heads to the children so. They run to the left and they run to the right and they stand and they stretch in the bright sunlight. And along comes a dog who wishes for fun. Meow, kittens, run, run, run. Run those kittens behind your back and hide them. All right, I think that is all I have for you today. I was hoping that my kitten would show up, but she apparently knows that I'm talking about her and refuses to come out. So maybe next time we'll get a little hint of Holden Popfield. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. But don't forget to check out um, our social media pages and our YouTube pages for all kinds of um, other activities and story times for you all to do as a family. And I will go ahead and say goodbye. So we're going to do our goodbye song. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and say goodbye. Bye, friends.